Hey guys and welcome to the third round of my Project Cars career mode. Today we're at Silverstone for the Silverstone National Circuit and uh, yeah, third round. Hopefully it'll be good. This is the sprint race. It's a 12 lap race because this track is quite short and um, it's about 1 minute 8 seconds per lap. Uh, I qualified in 11th so not so good around this track. I didn't really get adjusted to it in time but... Um, Hopefully we can have a good race, consistent pace, and yeah, it's about it's about a liter a lap. So if we go for about thirteen to fourteen liters, that should be plenty. So let's get straight away stuck in to this first race. Let's try and make up some ground here off the lights. Keep it clean. Keep your wits about you. Quite a good start. Looks like we've got a bit of a a drive on these cars ahead. We'll look to the middle. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to stick out here. Let's see if we can get the undercut on that guy. Looks like we've got that one. Now we're on the outside of this next guy. Yeah, we've got past him, and he's now behind us. So we've made up two positions at the start there, up into ninth. Try and take it easy on this first lap, as easy as easy as we can anyway. And looks like we've gone up the inside of another car there. Who seems to be still on our outside. No, he's not now. So eighth place now. Good start so far. Nice and clean. Some cars jostling for positions up ahead. Ooh, he's broken mid-corner there. Bit of contact. We're going to slip up the inside on the next part of that corner and looks like we've got up into 7th, maybe even 6th here on the exit to this corner. We're side by side and we've squeezed him out of the position. So 6th place it is for us at the end of the first lap. So great first lap so far. We made up 5 positions and we're right up behind 5th and the rest of the front 5 actually. So a bit of dab of the brakes, turn in. I'm a lot faster through this corner than the AI. A bit wide on the exit. He's going to squeeze me out, but he's realised I'm there and he's given me loads of space. Coming up behind P4. Looking to the inside for this part of the corner. Breaking quite late. Turning on the power early and he's lost it a bit. He lost the back end. And we're into P4. So now to catch up to the front three and try to get on the podium places. So it seems that the race pace of the AI is not what it was in like it's not like their quality pace. So uh, hopefully that could work for us. They break a lot later than me into that corner there, but I seem to have a much better exit, and then I'm quite a bit faster out of Come this on, last corner as well. Big push now. Let's fight our way past. So uh, slowly catching the cars ahead. We're about a second behind P3 and gaining on this straight here. And uh, like I said, the first corner for me is one of my strongest corners. So hopefully we can gain quite a bit on him here. Break quite early, turn in, gradually get back on the power. And yes, we've caught up massively here. Might be able to have a look into the third corner. We get a good exit here. He's got a good exit as well, though, so we're, we're not gaining enough on this uh, on this straight to have a go. And particularly as they break quite a bit later than me into the, into the next corner. But I should get the drive on him on the exit, so it shouldn't be that bad. They didn't break that much later than me, actually, but they break mid-corner. That's where they lose the Turn time. The and then they go very wide inside into inside this corner, break. which in these cars with such little power doesn't make a difference, really. Um... So P3, easily, good overtake there, nice and clean, and uh, right up behind P2 and P1 now. So we're in the podium positions, and we've got about 9 laps left, and 11 litres of fuel, so we should easily make it to the end of the race. Bit of dab of the brakes, turn in. Going to need to brake a little bit more, don't want to have contact there, but a nice exit nevertheless, and into P2. No, he's still there, he's still not going to let me take this position easily. We're just going to have to stick it up the inside, hope for the best, and uh, the car gripped beautifully there, the tyre's really working for me at the moment. 
Okay, mate. That's, P2. that's P2, but I think he's still there. No, he's not. He's just behind now, so we can cover him off. And now just to hunt down P1. Okay, mate. Let's see if we can get him on this lap. Try to force an error. He's under big pressure now. Come on, you can take him. Bit of a slide on into that corner there. Taking his wide liners. The AI seem to be doing every time on this corner. Get on the power nice and early to get a good exit onto the home straight. And just like when we took P3, hopefully we can get a good drive out of turn one and get a run on this guy. Get a dab of the brakes, turn in, gradually get back on the power. Nice, very nice run through that corner. Tyres definitely up to temperature now. Right up behind this guy now as we go into turn two and three. Break nice and early. Get tight on the apex. Oh, bit of a slide on there. Not going to be a great exit. So we're a bit of a sitting duck here for the guys behind. It looks like your best opportunity to overtake is breaking for the slow corner. Try and keep it clean and tidy. Got an okay exit actually on this last corner. So um, just about half a second behind this guy now. And through the first corner, like usual, we should get quite a good run on him. Right, nice and early. And it's starting to rain here now, guys. So we can see that um, the changeable weather condition, conditions are definitely coming into play. I definitely saw a few spots of rain, and I still am seeing some spots of rain. Typical British weather. Break nice and early then. Turn in. This is so great. We can get a good exit team. this time. Keep him under pressure. We'll try and pressure him into a mistake if we can. Um, but definitely some rain coming down here then at Silverstone today. This could definitely spice up the second half of this race. Bit of a slide on. Managing to save it though. Usually I wouldn't be saving those sort of slides. In the last two races whenever I've had something like that I've gone into a spin. But this car definitely seems to behave, be behaving quite well at this track. But we're definitely going to need to try and get some consistent pace going if we're going to try and get into P1. But he's definitely under pressure. He should be anyway. Let's turn on the wipers now because it's starting to get in the way. Your pace is steady, but we need a bit more now. See what you can pull out of it. Pace is going to drop off slightly though in the wet, so we're going to have to try and get him now if Looks we're like going to get him. The guys the behind aren't falling back too much either. Try to get a good run out the last corner and slip straight past him on the straight. Broken a bit too late there. And we've lost P2 to this guy. See if we can get it back. No, the, I'm really struggling already in these wet conditions. Looks like he's going to try and take P3. He's there. This is great fun though guys, even though I'm not doing too well now, this is great fun. Battling with the AI, jostling for position. You don't get it on too many other games, but you can see there, look, I'm having, I'm having to slow down quite a bit more for that first corner now. And I still went wide. So definitely the uh, rain making a difference here. This is undrivable now, I'm going to have to pit. Onto wets, I reckon, not even intermediates, onto straight wets. But this is definitely something that that, that would spice up the racing and uh, get some great battling going on. Doesn't look, at, look like any of the AI are going to pit, but we're going to go on to some wet tyres. We're not going to go on to extreme wets, we'll just go on to wets. Um... Yeah, and we'll risk it and see how that uh, goes for us. Uh, we'll, well, I don't think we need any fuel. We'll just keep it where it is and go for it then. So, hopefully, the pace difference will be massive. And uh, I don't think we—I don't think we've got a chance of winning this race now. But I think certainly we've got a chance of getting some good points if this strategy works for us. There is an AI coming into the pits. Um, but this pit stop seems to be...
dragging on a little bit. We shouldn't be refueling at all. So, yeah, um, hopefully the rest of the AI just suddenly dive into the pits and my strategy of the undercut works. So, let's just see how this all pans out. Hopefully I chose the right tyres as well because the intermediate option was there and the, and the extreme wets too, but hopefully these will be all right. And this is the last lap of the race, so they're obviously not going to be pitting now. Um, but it looks like it's going to be P11 for us, uh, which is where we started, so it's not all that bad. But obviously, considering the start we had, we should have really finished higher than that. Um, but I really just couldn't cope with those tyres in the, in the current conditions, so this is all I could really do to keep the pace I had. I would have probably lost more positions if I'd stayed on the dry tyres, so... Um, I don't think it was the wrong decision, it just didn't work out. The guys ahead obviously had a better strategy. Um, so not really the race one we wanted, but still, nevertheless, uh, unpredictable conditions at Silverstone today. Um, so thank you for watching the first race so far, hope you enjoyed that race, but let's get on now to race two. Alright then guys, welcome to race number two, uh, a 19 lap race, so I'm going to put on a lap nine or ten so I've put about 12 la uh, 12 litres of fuel in the car for this first stint just to be safe and um, we're just going to dive straight in it's f uh, weather forecast today is fog so hopefully no unpredictable weather conditions and having to change tyre strategies and stuff like that like in the last race but I just looked at the championship after race one actually and it's only one point between me and uh, the guy in second so it's really starting to heat up now the championship but here we go then for lights out. It's a lights out and away we go. And uh, quite a good launch. Not as good as the first race, but we're still getting a good drive on the cars ahead. The, wow, this guy is going really slow. Um, don't know where that other guy is, but uh, we're going to try and get past him here. Dive up the inside. Maybe even get two positions here. If we get a good exit. Side by side. I don't know where he is. He must be literally right there, but my seat's blocking the view. Yeah, look, he's there. He's just behind us now. So, I'm going to break quite early. Turn in. try and concentrate now on catching the two guys ahead because it'd be great to get another win especially at Silverstone a track that I'm usually quite strong at on uh, certain games but I really struggled with this layout in the uh, in the first race well in the dry my pace was okay but in the wet it really really started to struggle so this first corner is definitely one of the strengths compared to the AIs Definitely got the drive on second there. Maybe even have a go on first into turn three. Approaching turn three now. Let's see what we can do. Breaking at pretty much the same time. I think he might have just a better run onto the back straight here than us. It looks like that has been the case. He's right on his tail. Pile on the pressure and force him into a mistake. That's exactly what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and put as much pressure on this guy as I can get him to try and make a mistake obviously they break absurdly late yet again trying to get me to pit on lap 2 but I'm not going to be pitting on lap 2 so you can shut up let's go up the inside here then on the last corner he's trying to squeeze me I'm going to squeeze him on the exit and he's already quite far behind so P1 it is then at the end of lap 2 and uh, a pretty good overtake pretty clean uh, so hopefully we can try and maintain this position before lap 10 or 9 whenever we want to pit. Just take it easy now, don't do anything rash because it looks like we've already got a 1.3 second gap back to second place so all we need to do now is just take it easy. Oh no, not again, not again, that's not what we need more rain brilliant 
So that's going to spice it up again. And it's definitely not going to go in my favour because my pace in the wet is really not 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 very good. So let's turn on the wipers. Let's try try and stay out as long as we can on these tyres. But I can already feel understeer coming on. So I think when we pit, we might have gone on to inters. If not wet, that's why I want to try and stay out to see how wet it is going to get. Because at the moment, these tyres are still drivable. We'll see if they start to cool though. Because if they start to cool, then that's when we know we're on the wrong tyres. The guy behind opted in to stay out, which is fair enough. But we're definitely going to pit. And we are going to go onto the wets. We'll turn down the tyre pressure a bit. Keep the rears. We'll go 120 on the rears. I don't really know what I'm doing here, but we'll do that anyway. And we're on lap 7. So if we're going to go to lap 19. We need about 12 litres, but I'll put about fill up to about 14 litres of fuel. And um, go with that. So hopefully this strategy is going to work for us. The wet tyres should be alright. And I assume the AI will be pitting onto the same tyres. So, uh, yeah. Many, many cars opting not to pit on this lap. And I'm guessing a few of the early stoppers are now going to have to come in again for a different set of tyres. But yeah, Silverstone throwing up some really really unpredictable weather go, go, go. but it is it is a great di like it's a great thing they put in the game I know it's in other games but I mean when you're racing like this it is just something else I mean obviously it's not going to be good for my race result as people have come out of the pits before me but it is great fun you can't say it's not great fun let's turn on the lights to slip out just ahead of a car he's going quite fast I think he's yeah he's dived up the inside the sun's still finding its way through the clouds there which is quite surprising I'm still side by side with this guy Great pass, seventh place. Keep it up. squeezed him out there hold each other up, that's that's exactly what I needed, he's held him right up there and he could be quite slow along this home straight the guy behind is also stuck behind a back marker so he's not gonna catch up anytime soon we're getting very close now up into turn one, let's break earlier than he has try and get a run bit of oversteer mid corner again but we have got a bit of a drive on him See if we can take the lead. Side by side then as we go into turn two and three. You're right on his tail. Come on, let's make this happen. Got a reasonable exit there. Is he still there? Yes, he is. God, this guy is going to be hard to try and get past before the end of the race. He's really not giving up. Could have him here. Could have him. They've both gone wide. Could have both of them. If I could get past both, that'd be brilliant. I'm into the lead anyway. He's not near me now, so he shouldn't retake the lead if I keep it cool. Is that guy still beside me? I think he might be. He's going to compromise turn one. No, he's not beside me now. Break early. Turn in. Beautiful, beautifully done, and we're pulling away from those two now. Whew, that was a long battle for first, but we've done it. The rain's starting to lighten now, You're which is good. good job. Hopefully the tyres will find some temperature again as the track begins to dry up. I think we can probably afford to turn off the wipers now. 
as the rain has actually completely stopped. You can see there on the graphic the tyres are starting to warm up. The only thing is if it gets too dry too quickly they will start to overheat and that's where they wear really badly and we will lose grip rapidly. Those two are still sticking behind me though. So uh, luckily enough the guy in second is still stuck behind that back marker. He's been behind him for quite a few laps now and thankfully for us I think that back, back marker might gift us a win if we uh, manage to keep it together. So uh, just started the last lap then, coming up to the end of the first sector of the last lap. And we've got a 3.8 second lead now. So I'm pretty sure if we just keep it together on this last lap, then we've got this one in the bag. And uh, it'll be a great win because of the conditions in this race and just the crazy weather changes. But we managed to keep it together. We played the strategy right. And after a long battle for first, we did get into first position and managed to pull away from him as he's still stuck behind that back marker which is quite funny um, but uh, yeah just all round a generally safe drive well played strategy by the team and by myself and as we come through the last corner then we are going to cross the line to win the second race here at Silverstone much better than the first and uh, a great win Probably the hardest drive I've had to do this season so far. But as you can see there, us taking the win by 1.4 seconds to second. Actually, I repeat myself there. It's actually 4.5 seconds to second place. And um, yeah, let's just see where that puts us in the championship now. So we picked up a good 36 points in that race. And um, we do get fastest lap in both races. I actually didn't think I was that fast in the first race. But same lap time in both races. I'm picking up two bonus points there. So let's see where we are in the championship now. Okay, we're still in first then, 152 points. And I remember before we came in to this second race, we were actually only, uh, before we came into this whole uh, weekend actually, we were just one point ahead of uh, Aaron Groves in second. So very well done this, uh, this weekend. Got another win on the table as well, 152 points. Our teammate is in fourth now. He's been overtaken by Eric. I'm not even going to try and present uh say his second name but uh, not much of a gap between those two so hopefully our teammate can get back up and into third but yeah yeah again guys thank you very much for watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe for more project cars and formula one content and i'll see you all later